this is your boy Drug for Kicks coming back to you with another video today. Uh, first thing first, man, if y'all tuning in, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I truly appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot if y'all hit that like button as well. Uh, today, man, we just gonna get into a quick uh, little cleaning session. I'm not gonna do both shoes. I'm just gonna do one shoe. And I already got the shoe uh, somewhat prepped. So we will be using uh, two of my rejuvenator brushes as well as the rejuvenator uh, cleaning solution. And today we're gonna be cleaning up these Air Jordan 11 Concords that came out in 2018. So basically, uh, first time ever having this shoe in the collection and they dirty, man. I, I done beat them up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and put some love to them today. Uh, as you can see, the shoe is already prepped. I took the laces out. So I've been meaning to do this for a while. I just haven't got to it. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna sit the left shoe to the side. And I guess we're gonna go ahead and work on the right shoe. So like I said, I basically took everything out. I'm gonna take the end, little insert out. And go ahead and take the insole out too, which I still got pretty clean, Nike Air on that joint. But lately, man, I just, I haven't really been picking up anything. The last thing I did pick up was those dark Concord 12s. But other than that, man, I just haven't really been feeling the uh, shoe community lately. But we're gonna pause on that real quick and go ahead and put a couple of squirts about three squares because I got a pretty decent size uh, little cup or whatever. And uh, yeah, man, like I was saying though, I, I just really haven't been feeling the sneaker game lately. Um, it's been so much hype around like Jordans and, and uh, you know, stuff like that, that you really can't pick up a shoe if you miss out on it. It's like, if you miss out, let's say this joint right here, what was it, uh, 220? or something like that, I think it was 220 in 2018. If I missed out on these, I had to hurry up and grab them for 300 on the day of the release. Or if I waited, the shoe would be like 350, 400, or maybe even more than that, 450. Like right now, these joints are going for 450. And I feel like all that exaggeration really happened around the time that this uh, Jordan documentary came out or whatever, but. I don't know, but let's go ahead and start getting into the cleaning of the shoe. Um, I like the Concourse, but the only thing I don't like about them is this white mesh. I feel like it just gets dirty really quick. Um, it's pretty sturdy too, so instead of going with a soft bristle brush, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the medium. I don't know if y'all can see that, hopefully y'all can. Check the water up a little bit and just go ahead and get into it. Now, when I clean, I always like to do a circular motion, as you can see. It's almost like tattooing. When you're putting in, uh, here, let me lift this up so I don't spill this water. But like when you're putting in your, uh, your uh, shadowing, like you're doing your shading, you always wanna do small circular motions to make sure you get that ink in. And it's the same when you're cleaning your shoe. You know, you wanna do like these really small circular uh, motions so you really get that soap and, and, you know, suds and stuff into those areas that you need to. Uh, and I don't have my inserts because I'm using them or my shoe trees rather, because I'm using them for a different shoe. So that kind of sucks, but we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it do what it do. Let's see. And I know I'm probably holding this joint around crazy, but it is what it is. Try to get these joints as clean as possible. One thing I will say about this rejuvenator product, man, it does work really good, in my opinion. Um, 
But like I say, you know, you can have the best cleaning solution, but if you're not applying it the correct way, then you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're not gonna get that shoe in tip top shape like you want it, so. Go ahead and get the back. A little leather on the heel. Then we're gonna go ahead and clean up this patent leather. Get that nice and clean. Now this is old school right here. This is how I used to clean my shoes. I just, I ain't got no shoe tree right now. So this is how I used to do it. Just put my whole hand in there. That way I could just maneuver about the shoe how I need to. And we're gonna get a little bit of this mid saw. Just lightly get it. Cause I'm gonna go back in with the hard bristle brush. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna jump into the the hard bristle brush. Now with this joint, same thing. It's a little harder, but the best you can, just try to get some circular motions and really just dig into that midsole because it is rubber and that rubber tends to hold stains. So just take your time really and do the best you can. Give it a quick wipe down. Just see how she looking. I think I'm gonna go over the mesh one more time too. But just a quick little, quick little look at the shoe, man. Uh, let me get this off. I think it looks a lot better already. And I haven't really got to the to the sole yet. So now when I do my sole, I usually like to keep one of these pencils on me because it has like the little pointed tip. I know some people might use knives or whatever, but I always keep one of these on me just to get out like any rocks or anything. And as you can see, we got a few in there, but not too much. I mean, overall, it don't look horrible to be two years old. So now let me check. My bad, I didn't even show you guys the stiff joint. But when I do my soles, I kind of just like to sit it on the side and kind of angle it up a little bit as I go. But uh, yeah, we're probably gonna start off like this. And I wanna kinda get these little angles right here. You know what? Uh, here, I'm gonna sit my water down for a second. Cause it's like shaking, but yeah, I wanna try to get these like little corners or angles like right here on the side. It's like the spot where it starts to yellow. Go ahead and get into the bottom. Now with this hair and bone traction, uh, you know, they kind of go at angles. So sometimes I will, you know, go diagonally to the side and I come back and go the other way just so I could get into those pods. But for the most part, I try to stay consistent with just circular motions while I'm cleaning. Now, one part I feel like everybody always kind of forgets or neglects to hit is just like that little, that little bump right there. It's like sometimes you be cleaning and it's at a weird angle. You know, you just might miss it. But I always try to make sure that I Go in and get that spot best I can. And yeah. Okay, let's see, try to wipe. 
about to join off. I've still got suds in the bottom. I'm gonna get that off, but clean. Super clean. I think I will just hit the upper one more time just to make sure I got it. And then, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna fast forward to um, basically having the other shoe complete as well. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the laces. So y'all stay tuned. As you can see, man, we got both shoes cleaned. And uh, show y'all the bottoms. Now, I might do a video on trying to ice these bottoms and bringing them back. I don't know. Uh, if y'all want to help, man, hit that like button. Uh, let's try to get this video to maybe um, 30 likes. If we could get this video to 30 likes, man, I'll drop another video on how you can uh, bring your souls back to life. But now that we're done with these, we're gonna move these to the side and we're gonna bring the water back up because now all the shaking is done. And then we're gonna get into the laces. So basically, um, I don't wanna get my hands super nasty. Like cleaning the shoes was a little easier, but with the laces, you gotta get all up in there. You know, use your hands a little more. So. And look, I already got a, a ripped glove, fingernail bone, man. But uh, gonna put some gloves on for this part. And uh, yeah, man, so just basically take your laces, your water, and uh, the solution is already in there. And then just kind of mix it up, you know? And then just in your hand, Kind of scrub your laces together. You know? So then the solution. Then again, man, just kind of scrub, try to, you know, get them clean best you can. Now, uh, the shoes needed the cleaning, but they weren't too dirty, so we're not gonna set them in the um, in the washer. We're just gonna go ahead and let them air dry. And these, we're gonna let sit in the water for a little bit. Take these off. And uh, yeah, man, that's about it. So we're gonna let the laces sit for a little while. We're gonna let the shoes air dry. I got a fan right here. I got another fan in the front that I'm probably gonna use because it's a little smaller. I can sit them in the corner, let them dry, and then we're gonna show you the end results. So y'all stay tuned. All right, two, uh, got the shoes, man. I guess, uh, guess I'll just start off with this one. But as you can see, man, I mean, my bad for my lighting, man. But uh, yeah, I think they came out pretty clean. Yes, sir. See that bottom nice and clean. Ride his left shoe, man. Peep that bottom clean with some little yellow in. Yeah, man, like I said, man, if y'all want to see a video on um, getting your soles back icy, all we're trying to do is get this this uh, this video to 30 likes, man. If we could get 30 likes on this joint, I'll go ahead and drop a video on how you could bring those back to life. But, uh, yeah, man, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching the video, man. I truly appreciate it. Uh, Man, if you made it this far, man, please hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. If you're enjoying the content, uh, this your boy, Dread, 
and we out, man. Peace. Have a good one.